Welcome, guys. I decided to do an entire episode today on PopEx. And a lot of people are kind of struggling or not unsure what it is. What's a PopEx? It does exactly what you're seeing right now during the gameplay. So you're loading the table, and then you will have very specific video playing on the back box. And then as you can see here, I have you know, a video in the middle and the outside is static. The files are constructed in multiple layers. Picture Photoshop and then how you actually uh, set your layers, that is the same idea. So while you're playing the game, certain actions will trigger certain videos on your back box or on your topper or on your full DMD. Here it is what we call a full DMD. It typically has a video running in the back layer. This rectangle here where we're going to drag the DMD from Freezy, it's going to be here. So let's see how we install this. So this is the Enel Buster website where you're going to find a version of that baller installer. This build is called Bonanza. What is installed in this software is included in that rectangle. And uh, what I like is it has the 64-bit, which is going to be a great help. Download the exe file on your system and then right-click, hit properties and unblock and apply. And then we're going to launch the installation. This is pretty much a laid-back installation. Uh, it's going to guide you through what's needed. I strongly suggest that you keep the default path for your installation. And uh, we're going to click next. And this is going to install all the required software. Some direct X, uh, click uh, I agree, and uh, next. And we're ready to launch the config. Now here you can review again what was installed. Click on next page. And here you're going to pick your layout. In my case, I have A is actually what I'm going to pick. So A two screens. Here for the playfield resolution, I'm going to select 1080p, I don't have a 4K, and I'm going to click Apply Layout. Now here's the layout of your screens, playfields on the left, any, ad any additional screens on the right. Click that test monitor, if your setup is in the right position, it will say OK. Step 2, uh, it will install the essentials for you. Step 3. Uh, this is the monitor, the layout of the screens. And then you can see the list on the left, and on the right you see that box. Uh, it's going to tell you if it's on or off. So I'm going to enable this because I want it. And you can then physically drag it by left-clicking and moving it to uh, anywhere on your screen or on your second monitor, for example, in my case. And I'm going to set it on the top here. Next, this is the back glass that I've selected, and I'm going to move it to my second screen. And I'm going to resize it just a bit so I can see the menu, and click Full Screen. Playfield, uh, you do the same thing, but for the other monitor. DMD, uh, you can turn on or off like this, uh, depending how you want it. And I'm going to enable this one, and I'm going to put it at the bottom of my screen too. And uh, now that's going to be on top of my DMD, the same thing as my topper. Um, the music, you're going to drag it on where your back glass is selected. Okay, so which uh, my monitor number two. So we're going to click the uh, step four, and uh, we're going to click that next step at the bottom, which is the DMD page. And I'm going to click on test DMD and show back glass. And here you can resize the DMD. Uh, so it looks good in the gameplay. We're going to click Stop Test. Next page. And close. Now I'm going to start Pin Up Popper front end. And you can see what we've just set up is exactly what we've got. You can see on the left I've got the uh, topper. Uh, and then I've got the uh, DMD also at the bottom. So that's exactly how I set it up. The pop packs are only hosted on VP Universe. You can see all the different categories here on the right side of the website. So you're going to go here and see under Pinup Popper Files, you have the pop packs. 
you can change the view if you don't like that view. So you see all these are the pop packs that will actually work with your tables. We're going to try the last action hero pop pack. We're going to download that file. So on the uh, virtual pinball spreadsheet site, there's a feature filtering system where you can just type PUP and then it will display all the pop packs available on the website. Last action hero and the pop packs is listed here. And if I click on the link, the URL, it'll take me right to the page where I can download the pop and pack. I'm going to uh, extract. A lot of MP4s in here, a lot of videos, MP3s and music and sound. So we have it right here. Uh, Last Action Hero. And I see again, Last Action Hero. And within here, you see, it has the proper naming convention for that ROM. So this is the folder that you will need. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say cut pop videos and in here you're going to right click and we're going to say paste so now we have the last action hero files and you can open that so this is for example all videos that will relate to the back glass so when different actions are triggered um, this is what you're going to see uh, for example see extra balls so that video will play when there's extra ball. So that's kind of how it works. So newer pop packs comes with options. And when you actually look in the folder of your pop pack, you will see some bat files. And these bat files will change basically the settings for the pop packs depending on the number of screens that you have on your system. So for example, if you click on that first file here, it's like the info file, it'll tell you the description of what all these bat files are doing. So for example, some of them are for two screens, three screens, and even four screens. And then you basically just double click on the bat file that matches your setup. I have a three screen setup, a bat glass, the full DMD, and I have my play field. Now, some people have four screens, where, which is going to be an extra topper here. So you can change the layout of your screen and within pinup popper at any time. For example, if you switch from a 4-1 ratio DMD to a full DMD, well, you can rechange the screens layout. And to do this, you will go back in your pinup system folder, and there's a file called pinup player config display.bat. You're gonna run that file. And you remember this menu from the original setup. Now you can reorganize your stuff. So for example, see right here right now, uh, my topper is on the DMD right here but it doesn't really matter because I have this turned off. So it really doesn't matter. But if let's say I want it, and then I would turn it on here just to make sure that it is enabled from now on. Uh, same thing if I want a full DMD, like full DMD is right here and make sure it's turned on and it's on the proper screen. And if you want the changes to take effects to have the new feature of your new screen that you've selected, you will have to go in the pop pack folder run the bat file again i just showed you that matches your screen layout and then you're good to go you like that huh nice ride thanks how much excuse me how much for the car she's not for sale Pretty good fight, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're back. Yeah! yeah. People of Earth, I 
am Lur of the planet Omicron Percy I-8. You think I want a party? I'm sick of partying. Woohoo! More partying! <laughs> Mr. Rabo, kind of late, aren't you? And how? Take me up fast, will you, Lester? For heaven's sake, answer the door. Round and round she goes. Yep. Oh boy, what a place this is! You're a right foul git, you know that? I think so. I know so. Hit the captive ball to light lock. The Triwizard Tournament has begun. Yes, I'm, uh, I have that supreme in person, I think that's 